Hello, my name is Jonah Gelzo, and today I'm pleased to present my review of Q Audio's Sniper Shotgun Pro Kit. When it comes to indie filmmaking, or simply filmmaking situations where you need to be efficient, keep things light, yet yield high quality results, then you need to be intentional about the gear you choose. Recently, I had the opportunity to be a part of a unique documentary film about the quest to return a surrendered World War II Japanese sword to the original owner. Our crew was limited on budget, time, and had to be extremely mobile. One of my specialties is in the location sound. However, I had to assume many roles, and we simply couldn't afford the manpower or gear to run things how I might like to ideally. So when it came to filming in Japan, one of the things I wanted to ensure was that we maximized the usefulness of the sound capabilities of our DSLR cameras. DSLR cameras have wretched sounding built-in microphones, so the only way to get any useful NAT sound or impromptu dialogue recordings is crucial to interface with a high quality external microphone that can minimize the noisy internal audio circuitry. So when it came to our camera mounted microphones, we utilized the Rode VideoMic Pro and Q Audio's Q Sniper Pro Kit with the mini shotgun. Both mobile centric camera mounted microphones are great for ensuring the cleanest sound possible out of your DSLRs. The one thing I really appreciated with the Q Audio kit was the versatility of the kit, which lends itself to being a powerful companion for any mobile shooter. It works great mounted directly to a camera, being very small, lightweight, and portable, as well as equally working great by getting it off the camera and on the included mini telescoping boom pole, allowing you to get up and in close to the speaking talent. You can also easily mount the mini shotgun to an included desktop mount for recording impromptu voiceovers. The kit also offers flexibility with connection options. Whether you're wanting to directly connect the mini shotgun to your camera's 8th inch input or wanting to interface the mic to a high quality audio recorder with XLR inputs. And when wind becomes an issue, you have the included basic foam windscreen and fuzzy overlay. When it comes to the shotgun mini itself, you're also afforded the ability to adjust the gain settings of the microphone. It's always better to gain up at the microphone to significantly reduce the mic input sensitivity in the DSLR itself to minimize that internal noise and let the quality mic pump out the clean signal the best. From the US to Japan and back home again, the Q Audio Mini Shotgun gave us the flexibility we needed and is at a price point that won't break the bank. Now, I wouldn't trade in my larger shotgun mic solely for the mini shotgun, as there are benefits to large form traditional microphones. But just like anything, it's all about what you need for the job. If I'm shooting a narrative film, I'd always go with my larger and sturdier high grade shotgun. While on the flip side, when it comes to tricky shooting situations, need for high mobility, and run and gun shooting, I choose the Q Audio Mini Shotgun simply because for those situations, the mini shotgun leaves a smaller footprint, is lighter weight, and offers more overall flexibility when needing to cover various scenarios. And when you're living out of a backpack and traveling all over crowded Japan, flexibility and small footprint for gear becomes a real issue. If you're looking for a good all around lightweight and flexible miking option, then you might want to check out Q Audio to see if what they offer might fit your budget and your specific needs. For more information on the Q Sniper Pro Mic Kit, visit QAudioUSA.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Jonah Gelzo. I'll catch you next time.